Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Aditi Singh and you are watching Ad Zone. So let's get started. So today's topic is multi-top spectrometry. And as you all know, multi-top spectrometry, which is metrics-assisted laser desorption, ionization, time of flight mass spectrometry. This technique has literally revolutionized our ability to analyze gene expression, nucleic acid analysis, protein analysis uh, with higher level of accuracy and sensitivity. Multitoff mass spectrometry has become an indispensable tool for the analysis of biomolecules. The possibility of multitoff increases its potential in research and diagnosis because it quickly characterizes microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, virus, and it allows simultaneous mapping of hundreds of peptides and proteins that are presented that are present in thin tissue section, specimen. Okay, so it was introduced by Keres and Helen Camp, uh, and uh, they permit vaporization of massive quantity of biomolecules. So, principle of Maldidoff. It is very easy and simple. So, what happens is it co precipitates the large excess of matrix with the analyte molecule. And in this technique, a sub microliter of mixture of matrix analyte is pipetted onto a metal substrate and it allowed to it dry. The dried mixture is then irradiated by a nanosecond laser beam, for example, an ultraviolet laser with a wavelength of 266 or 337 nanometer is sufficient enough that specifically absorbs the chosen solid of matrix. The irradiation causes energy transfer and desorption resulting in gas phase matrix ions. With the use of matrix ions, the non-absorbing analyte molecules get dissolved into gas phase and ionite. We use laser beam and uh, which is like applied on matrix and then it is transferred to sample and we get energy then that's how we get energy from uh, laser charged molecular ions of analyte are detected by multitoff mass spectrometer generally it is used for the study of molecules having molecular weight above 200 kilo dalton as well as obtain to obtain low parts per million measurement the working of multitoff in multitoff the sample for analysis utilizes matrix which is a small acidic aromatic molecule that absorbs energy at the wavelength of the irradiating laser. The analyte molecule is mixed with the matrix deposited on target plate and allowed to dry during which matrix crystallizes and co-crystals of mixture, mixture analyte forms. Desorption and ionization with the very short laser pulses generate singly protonated ions from the analyte in the sample. Then the protonated ions accelerated at a fixed potential where these separate from each other on the basis of their charge to mass ratio and it is measured in time of flight analyzer. The matrix which is used is basically responsible for ionization, it, they, uh, it facilitates desorption, prevents the analytes from decomposition. And so during multitop analysis, the M by Z ratio of an ion is measured by determining the time required for it to travel the length of the flight tube. And then based on this observation, a characteristic spectrum called peptide mass fingerprint is generated for analytes in the sample. The generated PMF obtained from multitop MS is compared with the predicted mass values obtained from the in silico digestion of all proteins present in the database. The common search programs used in PMF are Mascot, Profound, MSFIT, and El Dente. Okay. Now the advantages and disadvantages of Maldidoff. The advantages are the mass accuracy is in the range of 0.01%. That is, peptides up to 2 kilodalton can be measured with isotope resolution. Molecules up to 300 kilodalton can be analyzed within a few seconds. It allows rapid protein identification. This technique also provides information about quaternary structure, such as mapping of protein-protein contacts or ligand binding sites and conformational changes in protein can also be analyzed through this technique. The disadvantages of multitop is its slow analytical sensitivity. Okay, application of multitop. The very first application of multitop is its 
intact mass determination. The intact mass determination is basic and important for protein characterization due to the correct molecular weight of a protein can indicate the intact structure. Maldi-Toff is a soft ionization technique which is suitable for proteins which tend to be fragile and fragment when ionized by other ionization methods. Next is peptide mass fingerprinting. Maldi-Toff mass spectrometry has single operation, good mass accuracy as well as high resolution and sensitivity. Therefore, it has widespread uses in proteomics to identify proteins from simple mixtures by a method called peptide mass fingerprinting which are often used with two-dimensional gel electrophoresis 2D. Post-source delay, Maldi-Toff analysis. Maldi-Toff mass spectrometers equipped with reflectrons can analyze fragment ions produced from precursor ions that spontaneously decompose in the flight. Such ions are generally referred to as met metastable ions and the process of decomposition in the field free region between the ion source and the reflectron is commonly referred to as PSD which is post source decay. Next is oligonucleotides analysis. With the development of molecular biology techniques and antisense nucleic acid drug technologies more and more oligonucleotide fragments have been synthesized to be used as primers, probes and antisense drugs. It is entirely necessary to quickly detect these fragments to determine whether the synthesis is complete and whether the synthesized sequence is correct. So Maldi-Toff is by far the best means of doing this. Next is Maldi Im imaging. The Maldi-Toff can be used in profiling and imaging pro proteins directly from thin tissue sections known as Maldi imaging mass spectrometry. Maldi IMS. It provides specific information about the local molecular composition, relative abundance, and spatial distribution of peptides and proteins in the analyzed section. It can analyze multiple unknown compounds in biological tissue sections simultaneously through a single measurement that can obtain molecular imaging of the tissue while maintaining the integrity of cells and molecules in tissues. Okay, so future perspectives of maldi -Tauf. Identification of filamentous fungi by Maldi-Toff MS. The identification of filamentous fungi has historically been based primarily on the observation of characteristic microscopic and macroscopic morphologies with only limited biochemical testing performed. Because identification is heavily dependent on the observation of characteristic reproductive structure, identification is not only slow but is also highly subjective. So recently, DNA sequencing methods have been used to identify filamentous fungi. Although these methods are generally highly accurate, they are expensive to perform, are not widely available in most clinical laboratories and often require a minimum of 2-3 to three days for results to become available. Then identification of mycobacteria can also be done with uh, maldit of MS. Identification of mycobacterium species has traditionally relied on the performance of various biochemical methods as well as growth properties such as pigmentation and temperature preferences. These methods may take weeks for results to become available and are inaccurate. Even though high performance liquid chromatography analysis of mycolic acids has been shown to be effective for the identification of mycobacterium species, this method is not widely available and requires a specialized training. As a result, laboratories have become increasingly reliant on molecular-based methods to accurately identify these organisms. Although these method is highly accurate and has dramatically improved turnaround time compared with traditional identification method, it is expensive to perform and is often and only available in reference laboratories. Okay, so what have we concluded? Maldi-Toff represents a very appealing new microbial identification technology that is efficient, rapid, cheap, and easy to use. This explains why Maldi-Toff MS can be successfully used in clinical diagnostic laboratories for identification starting from subcultures on agar plates and growth media, but also directly from positive blood cultures and to a lesser extent from clinical samples such as urine. The application of Maldi-Toff at the subspecies level in typing is promising but still needs further improvement. Overall, a Maldi-Toff MS will be soon present in most diagnostic laboratories as despite the significant cost of the instrument and for maintenance, running costs and consumables are much lower than those for other conventional methods rendering this technology a worthy quantum leap tool. Thank you.
so this is it for today's topic and if you want me to explain any topic of your choice please let me know below in the comment section and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you